business leaders of America. I cannot believe that this will be my very last time on this stage speaking to you all. When I first joined FBLA, my senior officer, Timothy Mancher, told me to step up and take charge of my future. At the time, I was a mere shy freshman, petrified to even speak to another individual. However, his faith and encouragement pushed me to break barriers and step out of my shell. My journey began right here, in this very building. I attended my first state leadership conference where I witnessed greatness. There I was, sitting in the back corner of the ballroom with my eyes peeled. I was in awe, seeing thousands of individuals from all over the state come into one area to form one united family. At that very moment, I knew I wanted to become a part of something greater, something special, something remarkable. It was so fast, I don't think my heart had ever raced so quickly. My blood, hot and feverish, raced through my veins as a cold shiver crept down my body. My hands were clenched and my eyes were nailed shut. Then, Mr. Begowitz called me up on stage as I was elected as the Community Service Vice President. The thousands, I saw, uh, the thousands in the audience I was once afraid of were now cheering and clapping, supporting me as a state officer. I now represented an organization that meant so much to me, and the installation candle handed to me was proof of this. And in my final year, all of you had faith in me and elected me as your New Jersey FBLA State President. I, could, I simply couldn't have done it without you. The love, the support, and from my advisors, members, and family. Thank you for giving me this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to represent such a wonderful group of individuals. I would like to thank the people who helped and guided me throughout the years and transformed my dream into a reality. First and foremost, I would like to extend my sincerest appreciation to my parents, Praveen and Rika Chada, for their 17 years of commitment to my dreams. My father worked day and night to ensure that my dreams could become a reality. He envisioned a successful future for me, and I hope that it made him proud today. Two very special people deserve my thanks. They helped our organization reach new heights. Our state chair, Ms. Nancy Ostrowski, and Ms. Megan Fishwick. Thank you to Northern Burlington County Regional High School and its administration for supporting my endeavors throughout the years. Thank you to my state officer team, who I like to call my family, who made this journey so special. And lastly, to all those people who saw me more than just a shy kid and gave me the opportunity to be on this stage today. Though we come from various locations around the beautiful Garden State, this one organization brings us together as a united family. Thank you for helping a shy high school student achieve his dream of becoming a leader. Members, you are the leaders of tomorrow. You are the ones to change the world. Take advantage of the time you have in FBLA. Trust me, it flies by so quickly. Though this is my very last time on this stage, the memories we share will be unforgettable. The endless friendships, the special moments, and love will always have a special place in my heart. John Quincy Adams once said, If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. Thank you, New Jersey FBLA, for inspiring me to become more than just an individual. Rather, it inspired me to become a part of something special. I would like to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for helping me reach my dreams. Future business leaders of America, I have one last thing to say. Let us transform tomorrow and take charge of our futures.